Hello and happy Monday. Um, today I'm going to show you a um, PowerPoint about uh, subjects of sentences. Um, we have moved into now a grammar review because we have finished all of the um, spelling units for the school year, um, including the first unit of third grade. And so um, we are going to be working on a grammar review that we would do if we were in the classroom together like normal. Um, and so I'm not going to put this in presentation mode just because I've been having some technical difficulties with this um, as I've been trying to record. Um, and so I'm going to leave it like this. Um, but please pause the video at any time. Um, you can go back and replay it too if necessary. And so when we talk about sentences, sentences contain two parts, a subject and a predicate. Our subject tells us whom the sentence is about. It usually is found at the beginning of a sentence, and it always contains the noun, okay? Person, place, animal, thing. It tells us who is in the sentence, and the predicate will follow the subject, and it will tell us what they did or something about them. So for example, I have um, Judy and her dog run on the beach every morning. So Judy and her dog are who the sentence is about. And then run on the beach every morning is what they do. And that would be our predicate. So again, just to um, state again what um, I just told you, the sentence is about Judy and her dog. So that would be the subject. Um, on your activity that you're going to work on today, um, you're going to be underlining the sentence. Oops, sorry. Going to be um, underlining the sentence once um, and then underlining the predicate twice. So let's try another one. We spilled popcorn on the floor. Okay. We want to think who is this sentence about and then what they did. So we is who the sentence is about and what did we do? we spilled popcorn on the floor. So if this were on our activity page, we would underline we once and then spilled popcorn on the floor twice. We is the subject who the sentence is about. Spilled popcorn on the floor is the predicate. What did they do? So now I'm going to put up four sentences um, and I'm going to go through them with you. Um, but if you have a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen sitting next to you and you want to write down um, what you think um, the subject of the sentence is, and then when we go to the next slide, you can check to see if you were right. You can do that too. Um, otherwise, you can just pause the video after I read each sentence and see if you can guess. Okay. So number one, my little brother broke his finger. Who is this sentence about? Who is the noun in the sentence? What would the subject be? Number two, his uncle Bob asked for directions. Who is the subject, a uh, sentence about? What's the subject? Number three, those students carried books. Who is the subject of the sentence? Our babysitter arrived late. Who is the subject of that sentence? Okay, let's see if you were right. So my little brother broke his finger. Who is the se sentence about? My little brother. Okay. And then my predicate would be broke his finger. That tells us what my little brother did. Number two, his uncle Bob asked for direction. Who is the sentence about? His uncle Bob. What did uncle Bob do? He asked for directions. Number three, those students carried books. Who is the sentence about? Those students. What did they do? They carried books. And number four, our babysitter arrived late. Who is the sentence about? Our babysitter. 
And then the predicate would be, what did the babysitter do? Arrived late. Right? So that's what you're going to work on today on your activity page is um, working on underlining the subject once, who is the sentence about, and the predicate twice. You can go back to this part of the video right here, and you can pause on this part of the video to help you if you need to.